Hey everyone, this is Dylan. Hey, <laughs> how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone is doing well. And today I'm excited because we have a Mulan themed video. It's been a while since we've looked at anything Mulan on my channel. Uh, very, very rare to we get any new merchandise and such. But I'm so excited because we have two sets to look at in this video. So it's probably going to be a little bit longer than normal. But we have the Mulan fashion pack and the Mulan accessory pack. So so it's going to be a lot of fun. There's so many matching things here. These actually go very well together. I think that's how they were intended to be. This pack is more of like exercise equipment and like gym things, which Mulan of course would be very fond of because she loves training for the Imperial Army. But um, these work very, very well together. And I think that combined, it's going to make a beautiful scene. As you can see here in the middle, I have this beautiful Mulan classic doll from the Disney store. This is the current one, uh, the current one you can buy at the Disney store. Um, and it is just uh, the regular Mulan classic doll in this dress. So I'm excited to see what she looks like in this completely redesigned look. Um, there's some dresses, there's some shoes. I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so of course, stay tuned for that. So we're dividing this video into two as first I'm going to take a look at the fashion pack and then we're going to look at the accessory pack because I just feel like she has to be in the fashion to make the accessory pack work. <laughs> so Miss Mulan just stepped to the side here. Also just side note her hair is so frizzy because I'm wearing my gloves and that is what happens whenever I um, have certain doll hair kind of uh, in videos you know it gets really uh, staticky. <laughs> so no need to look at this Mulan classic doll as that is not the focus of this video but yes they have had Mulan in this green dress for quite some time now probably since her anniversary like I think it was in 2018 she had um, a 20th anniversary I believe um, and that's whenever they decided to put her in a dress that she likes better than the pink matchmaker dress. All right, so the fashion pack has this beautiful image of Mulan, which I love. Again, she's in this dress that she loves. Her hair is fabulous. She looks fierce. Totally love how that matches the doll back there. It says Disney Isle Y fashion pack inspired by Mulan. So we have so many gorgeous items here. I am just going to take the, the glare off. That way we can take a look at them better. This side has Mulan on it. And then this side has one of the dolls wearing this outfit. See, look how beautiful that is. It's very downtown Chinatown, very um, Hong Kong, maybe. Um, it's beautiful. Like, there's sort of a retroness to it, like maybe some 90s fantasy, you know? <laughs> and this is the Cinderella-inspired doll wearing it. So, but you can see she is definitely downtown in a very metro technological area. So it reminds me very much of China. Um, here it says, show off the Mulan in you with Disney Isle Y forever. Amazing. All right, so we're going to pop this off and that way we can take a look at what is going on in the box without glare because the goodies are inside. Yes, these packages aren't very malleable. Um, <laughs> that one actually came a little damaged from the Disney store. So there's so many beautiful things here. Like, I just can't wait to get this all on the lawn. One of my favorite pieces are these uh, white, blue, and green shoes. And it has little fan symbols on the side. And they're kind of like running shoes. Like, I don't even know. They're just, they're just so cool. This is her sock tight things. And they're checked. I really, really like how they've used Mulan colors. So there's a lot of greens and reds and blues. I think that's very, very pretty. So yeah, it looks like they're tights. They don't go all the way down over the feet, maybe. I'll just have to double check. In the picture, it looks like they do. So yeah, we'll just have to see what those are. There's this beautiful jacket. And of course, there's Mushu in the clouds. And he's smiling. The jackets in these lines have been beautiful. And there is a red toboggan and it has a little yellow cherry blossom flower or plum blossom. Um, not sure what type of blossom it is, but it's one of, one of those, you know, very native to this area. There is a drinky here, looks like a coffee. This little Mushu on there, green purse. 
She has this really cool magazine. It looks like it's meant for gamers, but at the same time, it's meant for like martial arts. And that is definitely Mulan's father's sword from the film. And then there is this cool vintage, like I said, nice fantasy, like techno cherry blossom dress. It is just beautiful. I mean, she's gonna look amazing in this. I believe we'll have to put the dress on first and then work around with everything. So let's just magically get everything out of the box and ready for Mulan. Oh my gosh, there are so many beautiful little pieces here. Um, I don't even know where to begin because there's just so many beautiful things. Um, everything is just themed perfectly to this character. So the Gamer Magazine is super duper cute. It says how to beat the final battle, um, reviews, secrets revealed. So it's kind of like a game cheat magazine. <laughs> um, or maybe it has cheat codes in it or something. It's definitely meant for like, um, you know, the gamer in you, but also maybe there's like a Mulan game. So this is definitely Mulan's sleeve and that that is the sword of her father. On the inside, there's this really cool thing of Mulan and Shang that is straight from the animation. Uh, Mulan little uh, clip art and then it says cheat codes. So you can write down all your cheat codes in there. It's so much fun. <laughs> this is the purse. It's very lovely. The strap is the same fabric as like the other straps for the um, other dolls. This purse is more like a snap purse. Very beautiful. It sort of opens a little bit there. You know, you can kind of maneuver it to get something down in there, but it's see-through and clear. I love the green. The green is definitely an overarching pattern here. The toboggan is very good quality. As you can see, it's kind of scrunched up as toboggans are. I can't wait to get this on Mulan's head, you know, if we can get it on there right. The little yellow flower. The dress is beautiful. It's sort of sleek and it definitely looks like the hard wiring of a video game or of a computer. And within that, there's little cherry blossoms very pretty so i think mulan would love this like mulan maybe doesn't know what video games are because she's from ancient china but <laughs> um she'd probably really like this the jacket oh my gosh just as aurora's jacket this is stunning so i like the little green sleeves the blue i love the dragon there in the middle the little zip you know effect beautiful look at the back with the clouds that is gorgeous that's straight from chinese art straight from art history. I love it. The tights are actually socks, so they're long socks. Again, like, is this 90s fantasy? You know, is this 60s fantasy? It's just beautiful. I don't know what she's drinking, but it's like brown chocolate or something, or like mocha. Maybe like an energy drink or something, but it has Mushu on there. Really cute. And last but not least here, she has these beautiful like pumps with like the little fan motif. It's just stunning. So I don't know how we're gonna construct this, but I believe we'll have to get the dress on her first. Um, and so we'll just have to get Mulan ready to go. So as I said, this is a Mulan classic doll. Um, I've never taken this dress off first, so this will be the first time. <laughs> but I, again, I think that this dress is more accurate to what Mulan would want to wear, and it's very high quality. Okay, so what are we going to do? <laughs> um, she definitely needs to have the dress on first. That's just because the construction of the outfit, you know, there's a lot of layers to this. So yeah, we'll just have to start there. I think that Mulan would love this dress. Her staticky hair is kind of crazy. <laughs> Get this over Mulan's hips. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is sort of a stiff fabric, so you just have to make sure that you are doing the right thing. Don't know if it will exactly button. Again, this is built for the ILY body type, so I see maybe Mulan is just a, it's just a little stiff, you know, maybe I'll just keep it unbuttoned, um, that way it doesn't uh, tear up any of the fabrics or anything. Her hair is continuing to look crazy. <laughs> so I think the next step is probably the tights. This Disney store type of doll has the flat feet. 
So we'll just have to try that. I, sh I might have, should have used a Mulan doll that had pointed feet, like a really old Mulan doll. Um, or I guess I could have used the newer Mulan classic doll, but um, let's see what we can do. Let's see, let's see if we can, you know, conquer this. <laughs> So everyone, plans had to change. I did have to go whip out a older Mulan doll that has the pointed feet because those uh, uh, stockings would not work out. So I did have to go find one. And luckily I have one from, I'm not sure what year, but this seems to be working better. It's not perfect by any means, but it's definitely working better. You know, we gotta remember this is made for a completely different type of doll. Yeah, it's just a little iffy, you know, and I think that because of the rubber legs, that definitely adds a little bit more strain on just getting this on the doll uh, versus the plastic legs that would be on the ILY doll. So just sort of have to play with it a little bit. But honestly, you know, just even with the issues we've had, it doesn't look half bad. So I can't wait to see it with the jacket and with the shoes. I'm kind of glad that we did just go with a doll that has pointed feet because um, we're going to have to need that probably for the shoes anyways, but very, very cute, you know, not completely sure yet. Um, I definitely love the style of everything. Um, let's get the jacket on Mulan as that will probably tell us a lot of information about the feeling, you know, because I feel like a lot of the color scheme is with the jacket. The jacket is really adding, I think, what we were missing so far. You do have to get their little hands through the little scrunch sleeves. That's definitely a little bit of a struggle. The jacket looks awesome on her, of course. We can kind of adjust this flower to a little bit. I realized it wasn't completely pinned on, but oh my gosh, this is definitely very, very different. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. How are you guys feeling about it? this far you know we still have a few more pieces to add before the look is completed i think that the um oop sorry mulan there it goes your traditional dress um i think that this toboggan is really going to draw a lot of that together so i wonder if i can just sort of sort of add it on there <laughs> oh Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, it's sort of working. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> very, very, very cool. <laughs> all right, so let's try these um, shoes. So another reason why we probably had to go with the pointed feet was because those were the only feet that would fit this style of shoe because the flat feet probably wouldn't have went down in there. Wow, that's gorgeous. Very stunning. And let's add a little purse. Oh my gosh, yes. This is just beautiful. Wow. I think that really helped draw the look together more for me. She's going downtown Tokyo, or no, that's Japan. <laughs> Tokyo, um, Hong Kong. <laughs> I don't know much about Chinese um, landscape or um, geography. Yeah, I don't know much about Chinese geography. You'll have to bear with me here. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my gosh. I really, really love this. And of course she can have her little Starbucks or equivalent drink in hand, you know. All right, so oop, now we have all kinds of other accessories to get to from her um, accessory pack. So we will dive into that now. Wow, yeah, yeah. Very, very different now that the whole look is together. You know, that definitely makes a whole lot of a difference. Um, oop, her little video game catalog, super duper cute. There's just so many things here. Actually, I think the shoes, the toboggan, and the jacket tied it together for me. 
<laughs> All right, so now let's dive into this, the Mulan accessory pack. So let's just go over here and look at what the packaging says uh, just really quickly because it is different than the other one. And then we will, of course, see what all lies inside. So there's an image of Mulan. And it, again, it says inspired by Mulan. On the side, we have um, one of the ILY dolls. This is the Jasmine one using some of the workout gear. And she's definitely working out good there. It says styled for you. It has another beautiful image of Mulan. And then here again is that full image of the Jasmine doll using the workout gear. So technically I don't think Mulan is supposed to work out in this outfit. Um, but I guess she could if she wanted to. This is more like her going out on the town look, I think. But um, basically that is what this set is for. So I'm going to remove the plastic off so we can just do a quick skim of what's in here. The accessory packs are sort of packaged differently than the fashion packs. So more of this is just sort of sitting in there. But there is a little bit of like some ties on things. So we have a gym bag that is just enclosed with beautiful cherry blossoms. This is straight from Mulan's film. And whenever her father is sitting with her and cheers her up by telling her how the flower that blooms in adversity, you know. And that is definitely straight from Mulan's film there with the falling blossoms. Here is a cool little thing that has stickers on it and there is a couple Mulan inspired stickers so warrior uh, live by honor strong spirit there's some blossoms and fans that's very very beautiful this workout mat is based on bamboo so the bamboo grove where Mulan meets uh, Mushu for the first time uh, I think that could very well be inspired by that then there's some workout gear here um, there's like a hula hoop <laughs> um, jump rope you know um, very very cool this is fun because it is a tablet. Nothing was holding it in there. It is a tablet and it looks like that it has a workout on there. So there's these poses that you need to do in order to, you know, get fit. And it says do five of these, ten of these, and it's like sit up like on a case. So that's really, really, really neat, like a Mulan tablet. Um, this is a water bottle and then this is like all these little weights. So, oh, I see the rubber banded. That's really cool. I love these little things. So that's how they were held in there. Woo, yeah, they're really um, loose now. <laughs> Woo, oop, oop. So the weights are very pretty. They have blossoms on the side. So even though they are meant to get sweaty and, you know, pump all those calories off and work the energy, you know, they're very beautiful. All of them, of course, are removable from the stand. Um, on the side of the stand, there's a little image of like a dragon. So that's cool. So your doll actually can hold these and do like exercises with them. That's very, very neat. But yeah, it's very fragile. Um, the things might fall off very, very easily. Um, but yeah, so Mulan can get her training on lifting some weights. <laughs> um, let's see, what else here isn't really um, attached to anything? Looks like the water bottle. The water bottle, I think, is one of the most beautiful pieces here as it's a red water bottle and I believe that probably says something in Chinese in regards to Mulan but um, translate it for me please if you can maybe loyal ba brave and true or something like that and there's blossoms on there that's very pretty you could honestly just use that with the regular outfit this is a hula hoop I believe looks like this oh okay yeah so you put it around your doll's waist Again, there's that blossom motif again. So, see, it, it may be gym equipment, but it, it it's fabulous at the same time. <laughs> so the gym mat just comes right out. It kind of feels like a mouse pad. Um, you know, it kind of has this on the back and then it's kind of squishy. So that's definitely very, very nice material. Um, kind of could use it as a rug too, I guess. Um, but of course it matches all of the other items. Here is the cool jump rope. It's all tied up in a knot, but I believe if we sort of just undo it ever so slightly, it's also very shimmery and shiny. Yeah, so she could get her jump rope on. <laughs> oh, and the blossoms on the actual handles too. See, so the theme is there. Like the theming is just amazing. Of course we have her little thingy of stickies. You know um so you can put those on anything you know maybe um they would go like on the little 
um, iPad. But probably the greatest thing here of all is the gym bag. Just look at the beautiful fabric on that. That is so pretty. And I think it can be used as like a backpack too with like the straps maybe. Like you could wear it on your back with those straps. That's really pretty. I like the green uh, stripe that goes across it. That definitely matches Mulan's outfit here. Inside there's some tissue paper just giving it some fluff. Very pretty. Very usable too. You could put all of your gym stuff in it. <laughs> so this is just gorgeous. Wow, so Mulan is just decked out here. I mean, there's so many adventures that you could go on with this and so many photo ops, which I will be taking some. So stay tuned for that. Of course, guys, let me know what you think of this beautiful Mulan set by Disney ILY. No more Mulan items currently, but hopefully in the future. But I absolutely love these so much. All right, let me know what your favorite part is. And of course, I will see you next time in my next video. <laughs> All right, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>